hiking north out of Salisbury today and this sign, it's a little hard to read, but it says it's 1,500 miles from Springer and Mount Katahdin is 689.2. I'm not sure if that is the accurate 1,500 mile mark or if the one we passed yesterday coming into town uh, is accurate. That one was informal and this one looks official, but you never know with the trail changes. Uh, distance a little bit every year with reroutes and that sort of thing. So anyway, it is wicked, wicked hot today. Super humid and I'm heading up a mountain. I can't remember the name of this one. It's the one before Bear Mountain and uh, we will see how far I get. I hear the Riga shelter is beautiful, has a great view, so I might just stop there and do kind of a Nero or we may go on. We'll see. I am almost to the top of Lion's Head, which is supposed to have some spectacular views. And it's uh, it's been slow going for me and for Kermit too, and she's a strong hiker as well. But with the 90 plus degree heat and 100% humidity, it's really hard to uh, stop and catch your breath and cool down. You just get hotter and hotter and hotter as you hike. There is a really pretty lake down there. I don't know what it's called, but it's gorgeous. And there's a farm if you can, right down there with a silo. That's kind of neat. Really nice view of the valley. Definitely worth the climb. Oh, and there's another lake over there. So yeah, I'm hot and sweaty. <laughs> Drove down to my sports bra. I don't do that most days, but man, it's just a uh, oh, sweaty, stinky day. But uh, yeah, I'm happy I made it up here. What a gorgeous view. Had kind of a lazy day yesterday. We uh, did a Nero out of Salisbury up to the top of Lion's Head where we enjoyed just a nice long break. Uh, enjoying the view and talking to some other hikers. It was a lot of fun. And then we hiked on to Riga Shelter, which I'm just leaving now. And it's known for its amazing sunrise view. So instead of tenting, I spread out in the shelter. And uh, let's see, uh, Compass and Kermit were there with me. A couple other hikers came in, but they opted to tent. That was Barb and uh, Pat. And we enjoyed talking with them as well. And then later on in the evening, a Ridge Runner Ryan came in. He was some fun too. So it was a great night and woke up about 5.30, 5.15 this morning actually to see the sunrise. Took a little time-lapse video of it. Um, the colors were just, were just beautiful. So it was really nice sunrise, great little shelter. And today I'm heading up and over Bear Mountain, which some people say is horrible. Some people say it's not that bad. I'm gonna find out for myself. Uh, and then uh, on down, there's a couple more hills. I think we end the day with Mount Everett, and uh, not Mount Everest. <laughs> it may feel like it by the end of the day, but it's Mount Everett, and uh, we'll be in Massachusetts by then. So that's the plan for the day. This is the climb up Bear Mountain, at least the beginning of it. I've heard it's not really bad. It's the uh, downside on the other side, uh, the north slope, that's a lot steeper in sections. But I've also heard it's not as bad as going down after St. John's Ledges, so I'm keeping an open mind. This is not the summit of Bear Mountain, although it could be easily be mistaken for it. It's a nice rock outcropping to stand on with some pretty views and best of all a bit of a breeze to cool me on cool me down so far it's uh, not been a difficult hike climbing up just a uh, hot all right looks like i found the top of bear mountain also sun hot huh yeah, this is a monument marker, but it's really hard to read. It says it's something. It's pretty old, I think. It's very old. It says something about the highest ground in Connecticut. It is. So. This is the highest point of Connecticut, yeah. but. All right, so I'm on top of the rock pile that crowns Bear Mountain, and that monument down below was put in in 1885, and it marks the highest ground in Connecticut, which I think I erroneously said was Lion's Head yesterday, so I stand corrected. But isn't that a gorgeous view? 
the lakes down there, they're just so pretty. And the fields. Very lucky that this is a good day because I hear getting down from here is a little tricky when it's wet. So I am blessed to have good weather. Nice breeze up here, but boy, was it hot climbing up. So I'm going to go down to the other side where there's a little bit of shade and take a bit of a break. See if uh, Kermit and Compass catch up with me before I head down. So this is the route down from Bear Mountain. So far it hasn't been horrible. A little bit of sliding on my backside and just really taking your time and picking your way through to find the best route. But so far so good. And I suspect that we've done the worst of it, but we'll see. This is Sage's Ravine campsite and I just passed a couple day hikers and asked them if there was a good place to just sit and eat lunch and chill and they said absolutely right after the footbridge so I'm heading up that way. I'm looking forward to my little lunch break in this nice scenic area. This is lunch, just tuna and Fritos. And I am in about the most perfect lunch spot ever. Look at this. Soaking my feet. Hopefully get a little swelling down. It's beautiful. I am getting into Massachusetts now. Well, and actually a couple miles and uh, have a little over four left to hike today. That includes two mountains, Mount Race, which I'm crawling up right now. It's a long, slow, steady climb about two miles. And then Mount Everett, which the description in Gut Hook, which I just read, said that climb is grueling in either direction. So it may take me a good while to get those four miles under my belt, but I'm going to just keep uh, keep trudging along and uh, doing the best I can. It's hot and I've uh, been drinking a lot of water trying to stay hydrated but thankfully it's a little cooler than yesterday. It's still still pretty hot. Summertime of course. Can't expect too much else. I'm not quite to the top of Race Mountain. I still got about 0.6 to go but this is my first real view in Massachusetts. This is breathtaking. Gut Hook tends to call these rocky sections that are on the edge of a cliff, cliff ledges. I call them a little scary. I don't like heights. <laughs> 